चाहे ओम विष्णु पाद परम सबरी राजा कचारी अश्रोत सदस्य श्रीमती जीवन ग्रेस भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी महाराज प्रभुपाद की आनंद कोटि वैष्णव वृद्धि की नामाचार्य शिला हरिदास ठाकुर की प्रेम सुखो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासुदी गौर भक्त वृद्धि की श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की गंगमाई की यमुन माई की भक्ति देवी की तुलसी देवी की हरिनाम संकीर्तन की ऑल ग्लोरी All glories to the Sambal devotees. All glories to the Sambal devotees. All glories to Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. Namo Mishra Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhudale. Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nidhi Namine. Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine. Nirvishesh Sanyavadi Paschatat Zatarine. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Hare Krishna On behalf of Iskot Skabro, I would like to warmly welcome you to the special day where we are uh, celebrating the Swati Nachitra with the grand Abhishek done on Lord Nashima Dev. Swati Nachitra, Nachitra means star as you know and Swati Nachitra was the Nachitra in which Lord Nashima Dev appeared to kill Hiranyakashipu. <laughs> and this Swati Nachitra appears once every month. And uh, in Iskans Kabro we have this unique program once every month where we perform a grand Abhishek on the deities of Lord Narasimhadev here. So once a month, and we have 12 months, and uh, Iskan Skabro has been in existence for over four years, so even if you keep it as four years, so it's at least, at least 48 times we have performed this wonderful uh, Abhishek on Lord Narasimhadev since the start of Iskan Skabro. And it's very unique in the sense that uh, uh, we don't have uh, many temples uh, uh, following this process, which is a wonderful process, where uh, this wonderful Abhishek is done on Lord Nashimadev once every month, and this this uh, feature is 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 a permanent feature in Iskand Skabro's calendar. And for those of you who are familiar with our Vaishnava calendar for Iskand Skabro, we have actually uh, put the dates of the actual Swati Nachitra every month. So for those of you who don't have the Vaishnava calendar of Iskand Skabro. Please see one of us and we'll uh, get you the calendar. For those of you who have a calendar, please post it in a, affix it in a very affi uh, very conspicuous location in your house so that you get to know when the Swati Nachitra falls so that you don't forget to come and uh, take part in this glorious celebration once every month. So, we know that from the Vedic literatures, we know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Lord Krishna himself who appeared 528 years ago in Navadvim in West Bengal and uh, it is it is also a known fact that all the other incarnations are within Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. So today we will hear some of the glorious pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in relationship to Lord Narasimhadev because today we are celebrating uh, this uh, Swati Nachitra today. So we'll look into some of the wonderful pastimes from uh, glorious Vedic literatures like Chaitanya Chaitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagava, Chaitanya Mangal especially, how we can understand the correlation between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord uh, Narasimhadev. So with your kind permission, uh, we will uh, hear some of the glorious pastimes and also we have mined, you can see the marks in, these, in this wonderful uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, we have mined or excavated some glorious information of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes in relationship to Lord Narasimhadev. What are the temples that he went, how he offered prayers and also how, whether he cleaned the temple, how he cleaned the temple of uh, Lord uh, Narasimhadev. So we'll, uh, we'll hear that in the next little while because from what I said, we'll try to understand the correlationship between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, Lord Narasimhadev. 
the relationship is that they are one and the same. So we will we'll hear from these various past times how uh, we get to know that uh, they are one and the same. And also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as we heard, is a combined incarnation of Lord Krishna and Srimati Radharani. And uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in the mood and the complexion and the ecstasy and the devotion of Srimati Radharani. And he taught us how to uh, perform devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So we will hear how he performed devotional service to Lord Narasimha Dev so that we get to know that and we can also follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, instructions on how to uh, perform various devotional services to Lord Narasimha Dev as well. So before we hear uh, from Chaitanya Charitamrita, we, I would like to uh, read one particular verse that is repeated 27 times. So Chaitanya Charitamrita has got 11,555 verses and one particular verse is repeated how many times? 27. 27 times. Is that not phenomenal? How important it should be? It is a prayer that is being offered by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami and actually it's not only 27 times. It is actually 40 times because for another 13 times one word Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's name is actually uh, referred to as Gaura Chandra 13 other times. So it's almost 40 times you can uh, say that uh, the same verse is repeated. It's a prayer. So I will read one line and you can repeat that one line and then I'll recite the second line and you can recite it as well. Is that okay? So it's very easy to uh, repeat this. Because it's repeated so many times, it's so important. So all of us have to... Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda So if you go through the different uh, chapters in Adi Lila, Madhya Lila, uh, Madhya Lila and uh, Antya Lila, you will see this particular verse that we chanted appears mostly in the second verse of every chapter. So we will start off with one of the pastimes. By the way, we are celebrating this uh, Swati Nachitra today. Today is Swati Nachitra. The next Swati Nachitra is of course uh, one month away and on that day it is the actual Lord Narasimha Dev's appearance day. So, in the month of May, we will be celebrating the Swati Nachitra and on that day, Lord Narasimha Dev appeared from the pillar to kill Hiranyakashipu. Um, so, today we will start off by hearing uh, one of the wonderful pastimes from Chaitanya Charitamrita. This pastime is so wonderful that it is also found in another uh, wonderful literature called Chaitanya Mangal by Lochan Das Thakur. So it's very rare that you see the same pastimes in two different Vedic literatures by two different authors. But this pastime and the very next pastime are actually depicted in both the Vedic literatures. So with your kind permission, I would like to uh, narrate this uh, wonderful pastime. Once, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the devotees were performing Harinam Sankirtan in uh, Navadvi. As they the crescendo increased and all the devotees were dancing and chanting ominous clouds gathered above to to 
have a ferocious downpour. There was supposed to be a ferocious downpour in the next little while because all these dark clouds gathered together and it looked very threatening. And uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, actually when he was chanting and dancing, he just looked at the clouds. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu looked at the clouds, immediately all these dark clouds which were supposed to pour so much of rain, immediately scattered to the vision of everybody. All of them were seeing all these clouds. It's not that they were slowly drifting away like how we see. It was just blown apart and they were scattered and then all the devotees were able to see the wonderful moon on that day. So that is the potency of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Um, so there was absolutely no rain and then all these devotees were continuing to chant and dance in ecstasy for very, very many hours after that. So this particular pastime, as I mentioned, is, is mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. It is in the 17th chapter of the Adi Leela. And again, I'm giving you some references so that devotees can go home. And this particular then, pastime was also uh, repeated by Bhakti Vinod Thakur. It's such a fascinating pastime, how these, uh, these threatening clouds were just blown away, not just drifted away, they were just blown away so that there was no chance of any uh, rain at all. And the place, that this happened is still there and it is called as Megara Chara. Megara Chara means, Chara means like almost blown away and Mega means, in Tamil as you know, Mega means cloud. So it was blown away. So that's the wonderful pastime. Now the very next verse after this particular pastime was when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested Srivas Thakur. Srivas Thakur is none other than Narada Muni. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Lord Krishna himself is requesting Srivas Thakur who is none other than Narada Muni to chant the Vishnu Savasranama, the thousand names of Lord Vishnu. And in Chaitanya Mangal the same pastime is also uh, narrated where it is said Srivas Thakur was performing Shraad ceremony. Everybody knows what is Shraad ceremony when the father dies and on a yearly basis the offering is made. So that is Shraad ceremony. And on that day, it is very auspicious to recite the Vishnu Savasranama. And it is said in Chaitanya Charitamrita that uh, Supreme Personality of God, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, requested Shiva Stakur, who is none other than Narada Muni, to recite the Vishnu Savasranama Stokra. And as Shiva Stakur was reciting, there was one of the names of Lord Vishnu is also Narshima. When the name, when the when the name Narshima was chanted immediately, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu absorbed the mood of Lord Narasimha Dev and he attained the form of Lord Narasimha Dev and immediately he manifested the club and he started running on the city streets, it is said. If you can just imagine Lord Narasimha Dev who you can see in that framed picture, if you can take a look at the framed picture right at the back, the ferocious form of Lord Narasimha Dev manifested in Navadvip, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was hearing this glorious name of Lord Narasimha Dev in the Vishnu, Vishnu Sahasranam Stotram and he took the club and he started running on the city street. Just imagine if Narasimha Dev is running on the street. How fortunate are the devotees. So he wanted to go and kill the atheist and then he's running on the streets in Navadvip and then all the people in the streets were so afraid and they were running everywhere and hiding because Lord Narasimha Dev is charging on the road and uh, after some, so before he manifested this form actually his eyes were so red, he be, it became so red when he heard the name Narasimha Dev and his hands were standing on end and his limbs were trembling and then he started running on the streets of Navadvi and after some time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu regained his external consciousness and then he he threw away his club and then he came back to Shiva's Sangha, to Shiva's uh, uh, Thakur's uh, residence and then he, he, he mellowed down and he said it, it is an offense, it's a lesson for all of us. So what did Lord Narasimha Dev, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the form of Lord Narasimha Dev say right after he gained, regained the con external consciousness as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said it is an offense to create fear amongst living entity. So it's all wonderful instruction for all of us. So it's an offense to create fear. Sometimes, you know, some animals are getting scared of us. Even other human beings are scared of us. So it is an offense according to the Supreme Personality of Godhead to create 
uh, to create fear amongst living entities. So he he was uh, telling Shiva Thakur that he had created this fear amongst the living entities, and he was Supreme Lord was feeling bad about it. And what did Shiva Thakur say? When he heard the word offense, he said, "Anyone who has committed even ten million offenses, you have to hear this. Who has committed even ten million offenses will." immediately expunge those 10 million offenses immediately when they chant your holy names so 10 million offenses also when somebody is accumulated based on his past sins these are the reactions waiting to manifest those are expunged immediately not later immediately when one chants your holy name so that is what Narada Muni is uh, uh, telling Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who is Lord Krishna himself and he also said my dear Lord, it's not an offense on your part to, to uh, manifest this Narshimadev's form and give this darshan to everybody. The people who saw, the devotees and the non-devotees who saw your ferocious form of Lord Narshimadev are so fortunate because they got liberation immediately. Again, liberation is also not at the end of life. They got liberation immediately. So from this past time, what do we know? What do we learn? There is no difference between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Narshimadev. And another wonderful pastime, for this we have to go to the second chapter of the Antya Leela of Chaitanya Charitamrita. And here there was a great devotee by the name of Shikant Sen. You may have heard uh, some of these names uh, because of various wonderful pastimes uh, with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So the Shikant Sen had gone to Jagannath Puri to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed Shikant Sen, I do not want any of the devotees to come to Jagannath Puri from Navadvi because I am going to go personally meet all the devotees in Navadvi. So how fortunate the devotees are. The Lord is saying, I, it's like Ratyatra. Ratyatra, the Lord is coming to meet everybody. They don't even have to go to the temple. So here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the Supreme Personality of God, is instructing Srikant Sen to instruct other devotees like Advaita Acharya, Sivananda Sen, Jagadananda, all these great devotees, not to come to Jagannath Puri all the way from Navadvi, but I am going to come and visit them. So Srikant Sen comes and he informs Jagadananda and he informs Advaita Acharya. He informs uh, Sivananda Sen. Sivananda Sen is the one, if you remember, he takes so many devotees every year for Ratyatra, including once he took a dog as well. You would have heard this past time where he took the dog in a boat and the boatman said, I cannot take the dog. It's only meant for human beings. He paid so much more money to take the dog. And why did he take the dog? So that the dog can take Darshan of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And it got lost. He sent 10 people to search for the dog. And finally, when he went there, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is feeding coconut pulp to this dog and he induced the dog to chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and the dog chanted in front of everyone and the dog went back home back to God. So this is Sivananda Sen. He was the sponsor of the conveyance and other facilities of all the devotees for the devotees to go from, from where? Navadvi to Jagannath Puri to participate in the Ratyatra. So this devotee Shikant Sen came and informed Sivananda Sen, Jagadananda and uh, also uh, Advaita Acharya, please do not go next year to Jagannath Puri because the Supreme Lord is going to come and visit all. So all of them were ecstatic and uh, a Pausa month, he said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I will come during the month of Pausa. When is Pausa? Pausa is in December and January. So the devotees were eagerly waiting, Advaita Acharya and Jagadananda and Sivananda Sen, they were all eagerly waiting for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to come during this month of Pausa, which is December and January, so that uh, they can perform various services to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not come, they were waiting, the month of Pausa started, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not come, so they were every evening they were waiting with all the paraphernalia for the Lord to come, but the Lord is not there. So they were so disappointed and mystically, another great devotee appears and his name is Narasimhananda. You may have heard uh, this wonderful uh, pastime of this great devotee Narasimhananda. So he appears. And by the way, this Narasimhananda, is, his name is Narasimhananda Brahmachari. And this Narasimhananda Brahmachari 
was not called as Narasimha, Narasimhananda Brahmachari. He was called as Pradyumna Brahmachari. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself changed his name because of his devotion to Lord Narasimhadi. So, Narasimhananda Brahmachari mystically appeared in front of these devotees who were lamenting that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not there and the month of pausa has already started and probably it's going to end. And uh, they were dejected and Narasimhananda Brahmachari came and he asked, why are you all dejected? Then they said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, promised that he is going to come to Navadvip during the month of Pausa, but he is not here. Immediately Narasimhananda Brahmachari said, the Lord will be here in three days time. He said the Lord will be here in three days time and uh, he started to go in trance and he started meditating. For two days, Narasimhananda Brahmachari was meditating and, and at the end of two days, he called Sivananda Sen, he called Brahmananda, he called Advaita Acharya, everybody and he said, Supreme Personality of God, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is already in Pani Hati. So, tomorrow afternoon, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be coming to your house. He's telling uh, Sivananda Sen. This is, just imagine, this is like a live telecast video. He is in Navadvi and he is closing his eyes and he is meditating and he can see where the Lord is, step by step where the Lord is coming. And he is telling the Lord is already in Pani Hati and he is calculating how long it will uh, take for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to come to Sivananda Sen's house. So tomorrow afternoon he will be here in your house. But now we have to offer Boga to the Lord. So this is a lesson for all of us. Even when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, was uh, performing his earthly pastimes, the devotees were not just offering boga and prasadam directly to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even to the deities it was being offered even then. Because right here in Navadvi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not there because he is still in Panihati. As of now, according to Narsimananda. And then he called Sivananda Sen because he is the most affluent person there. He said, please bring all the opulent uh, vegetables. I want to prepare a great feast and offer it to the deities of Jagannath, to the deities of Narsimhadev and to the deity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So these are all subtle lessons, esoteric lessons for all of us. So he prepared a grand feast and he offered them in three different plates to three different deities. And who are the deities? Lord Narsimhadev, Lord Narsimhadev, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Jagannath. So he offered three different plates and he came outside the altar and he was meditating. And he suddenly started smiling and then laughing and then he became sad. Then Sivananda Sen and uh, Jagadananda asked, why are, you, why are you transforming yourself from smiling to happiness to being sad? Then he said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu right now he's, he's eating all the three offerings from all the three plates. One was meant for Lord Jagannath, one was meant for Narsimhadev and only one was meant for him. But he started eating from all the three plates. And then there were no remnants left. So he said, absolutely there's nothing left because he had cooked vegetables, he had cooked uh, cakes, he had cooked sweet rice, opulent preparation. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu liked it so much, he took all the three preparations. So from this past time, what do we get to know? There's no difference between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Jagannath and Lord Narsimhadev. He took all the offerings and he ate. And then they opened the door and there was... and then. Um, Narsimhananda went and there was no uh, prasadam left, Mahaprasadam left. And then when he came and told this past him again to uh, Sivananda Sen, they were not sure whether he is telling this in, in, in ecstatic emotion or was he telling what had actually happened. They were unsure. So they left it like that. But definitely the boga was missing. There was no boga at all there. Or the uh, offering was not there. The prasadam was not there. Then he, because his Narsimananda, his name was changed from Pradyumna to Narsimananda. So he said, please give me more vegetables. I want to cook more uh, boga and offer it to Narsimhadev. Because from his standpoint, he's saying, there is no difference between Lord Jagannath and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But, you know, Narsimhadev was different. But why did he eat that offering too? So he said, bring me more uh, vegetables. He offered, he cooked again and he offered it to Narsimhadev. And he's thinking Narsimhadev ate this, but then it was again Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How do we know that? We'll get to know later. So what had happened is, next year, all these devotees, including Advaita Acharya, uh, 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 Sivananda Sen, all these uh, Brahmananda, all these devotees went to Jagannath Puri the following year. When they went to the Jagannath Puri the following year, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu informed Sivananda Sen and all these devotees, last year in the month of Pausa, the preparation that Narsimananda 
uh, Brahmachari did was so great that I had to eat everything that was offered. And then he said, even that was offered the second time. <laughs> because that was offered to Lord Narasimha. The first time, it was offered to three deities and he took it. And because it was offered again to Narasimha Dev, he also took it. Confirmed that. Absolutely. That, that, uh, that all the incarnations are within, within Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this is uh, another wonderful uh, pastime with confirm, which confirms that. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as we heard, also appeared as the greatest devotee. He is teaching us how to perform devotional service to the Supreme Personality of God. So, quickly, in the next few minutes, we will we have excavated some gems from Chaitanya Charitamrita. The past times, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to different Narasimhadev temples. Even though he is not different, he goes. It's like the Lord is offering prayers to himself. The Lord is offering obeisances to himself. And he's teaching us how to do yeah, that. That is the main thing. So quickly going through this, this is when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to South India, South Indian pilgrimage. Uh, this is from the 8th chapter, of, uh, verse 3rd, 4th, uh, 5th and 6th. So I'm just going to go quickly through that. Uh, according to his previous program, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went forward on his tour and after some days arrived at the place of pilgrimage known as Jayada Narasimha. So he went to the Narasimha Dev's temple there. He went specifically to Jayada Narasimha temple. And upon seeing the deity of Lord Narasimha in the temple, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu offered his respectful obeisances by falling flat. Then in ecstatic love, he performed various dances, chanted and offered prayers. So this is, this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaching us how we have to offer worship and prayers to Lord Narasimha Dev. And then, what is the prayer? Very, very important prayer. Two prayers. Shri Narasimha, Jai Narasimha, Jai Jai Narasimha, Praladesa Jaya Padma, Mukha Padma Pringa. Everybody should memorize this wonderful prayer because this is a prayer that is offered by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Lord Narasimha Dev. The meaning is all glories to Narasimha Dev. All glories to Narasimha Dev, who is the Lord of Pralad Maharaj. And like a honeybee, is always engaged in beholding the lotus like face of the goddess of fortune. The next prayer, Ugropi Anukra Evayam Swabhaktanam Narakeshari Keshari Vaswapotanam Anyesam Ugra Vikramam. The meaning is, although very ferocious, the lioness is very kind to her cubs. Similarly, although very ferocious to non devotees like Hiranyakashipu, Lord Narshimadev is very, very soft and kind to devotees like Prahlad Maharaj. So this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prayers to Lord Narasimhadev directly. And then, we'll go to the Madhya Leela 9th chapter, verse 17. So he is going to Ahovila Narasimha deity. He is looking at the Ahovila Narasimha deity. Upon seeing the Ahovila Narasimha deity, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu offered many prayers unto the Lord. So here Lord is offering prayers unto himself, but he is teaching us how we should offer prayers to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yeah. And then the next one is again in the South, in South Indian pilgrimage. Um, this is in the ninth chapter, verses, verses 66 and 67. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu next arrived at the temple of Pana Narsimha. The Lord is so merciful. Pana Narsimha is so merciful. That's what Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami is explaining. In great ecstatic love, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu offered obeisances and prayers unto Lord Narsimha Dev. See how many temples he is going and offering worship and prayers to Lord Narsimha Dev. The people were astonished to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's influence. Then, so far we have heard about how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu goes to South India and then he was offering wonderful worship. Now, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is offering worship to Lord Narasimha Dev in Jagannath Puri. After bathing, the Lord stood on the bank of the lake and put on dry garments. After offering obeisances to Lord Narasimha Dev, whose temple was nearby, the Lord entered the garden. So again, he's offering worship, he's offering obeisances to Lord Narasimha Dev. This is Lord Narasimha Dev in where? Jagannath Puri or South India? Jagannath Puri. Jagannath Puri. And then the last bit is, um, we have to go to Antya Leela, chapter 16, 
verses 51 to 54. You will, you will know many of these verses. I can give you a guarantee. You will say, yeah, I know these verses. So here, yeah, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, now, some of us may have doubt when we offer worship, when we offer Tandava, should the deities be to the left or should the deities be to the right? Prabhupada has taught us that the deities need to be to the left. So here is, here is the evidence. This is in the 51st verse of the 16th chapter of Anti Leela in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is left side toward the deity. Everybody heard? The left side toward the deity because we offer worship like this, the deity is to the left, right? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is left side toward the deity, offered obeisances to Lord Narasimhadev as he proceeded towards the temple. He recited the following verses again and again while offering obeisances. So I want to repeat this again. Facing the, the deities were to the left and he proceeded to the temple. He recited the following verses again and again while offering obeisances. Namaste Narashimaya Praladalada Dayene Hiranya Kashipur Vakshaha Shilatanka Nakalai. So, this is a verse that all of us know. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is reciting this verse to Lord Narashimadev. So, today also we will be chanting this particular verse. So, we should, we should get into the mood that this, we are so fortunate that we get to know by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada the actual verse that is chanted by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. But this verse is taken from, it is said from Narashima Puran. And not just one verse. The meaning of that verse is, I offer my respectful obeisances unto you, Lord Narashima Dev. You are the giver of pleasure to Mahara, Maharaj Prahlad and your nails cut the chest of Hiranya Kashipu like the chisel cutting stone. That's the meaning of that particular verse. And the next verse that he offered was, this is the last verse that we'll cover today. The second verse that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu offered to Lord uh, Narashima Dev is, Ito Narshimo, Parato Narshimo, Yato Yato Yamita, To Narshimo, Bahe Narshimo, Rde Narshimo, Narshimo Atim Sharanam Prabhati. So these are the two verses that we chant here at Iskan Skabro during all our program. And these are the two verses that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in ecstasy chanted to Lord Narshimadev in Jagannath Puri and, and in ecstasy. Chanting again and again, not just one, chanting again and again and again. And the meaning of this verse is. Narashimadev is here and he is also there on the opposite side. Wherever I go, there I see Lord Narashimadev. He is outside and within my heart. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, he is within my heart. Therefore, I take shelter of Lord Narashimadev, the original Supreme Personality of Godhead. Having offered obeisances to Lord Narashimadev, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited the temple of Lord Jagannath. So he went to Narashimadev's temple first, offered obeisances, then he recited, he chanted all these prayers and then he went inside Lord Jagannath's temple. For devotees who do vacuuming and uh, other services in temples, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also cleaned the Narasimha temple. We know how he cleaned uh, with all the devotees the Gundicha temple. But today we are discussing or hearing all the past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in relationship to Lord Narasimha Dev. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also cleaned the Narasimha temple inside and outside. Not just inside, inside and outside. Finally, he rested a few minutes and then began dancing. So the Narshima temple is a nice temple just outside the Gundicha temple. This is another one, just outside the Gundicha temple. Yeah, on the right side, yes. So these are all fascinating. So we, we took um, you know, all these verses and pastimes relevant to today's event where we are uh, celebrating this uh, uh, Swati Natchitra. And, and, and just to recap, what are the pastimes that we are, the pastimes that that confirms that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Narasimha Dev are non-different is that when the Vishnu Sahasranam was chanted and when Narasimha Dev's uh, name was chanted immediately Chaitanya Mahaprabhu assumed the form of Lord Narasimha Dev and with a club in the hand ran across the streets in Navadvip and then all the devotees and non-devotees were so fortunate because they got liberated their 10 million sins were vanquished so that is one of the pastimes and another pastime where we heard this wonderful pastime where uh, Narsimananda uh, Prabhu is able to actually see it like a live telecast when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will come and he said he's already in Paniyati and tomorrow afternoon he'll come to your house Sivananda Sen and then he started offering uh, Boga to Lord Jagannath, to Lord Narsimhadev and to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is one day before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can come to Navadvi. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually came before he physically came and he ate not just the offering that was meant for him but also the offering meant for Jagannath as well as Lord Narasimhadev and proving and when second time offering was made also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, ate that offering to prove that he is not different from 
Lord Narshimade. And and he sh showed us from various pastimes how we have to uh, offer our obeisances, how we have to offer worship to Lord Narshimadev. In the South Indian Yatra, he visited many, many Narshimadev uh, temple and he showed us how to worship, how to fall flat, offer Dandavar Prana, how to chant various names of Lord Narshimadev and how which side to face when we offer worship and the famous, famous two verses uh, that we all know. So when we chant today, when Prabhu is chanting these two verses today, we should we should uh, we should uh, be thankful from the bottom of our heart how fortunate we are that we know all these wonderful prayers by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. Yeah, Prabhupada. Adi ki yeah. 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 They say simply straight away they start the Namaste Nasima. I think we have to develop that, uh, you know, that particular shloka that really helps us. It's so it's nicely there. Uh, Jai Nasima. Reverberate everywhere. It vibrates so much. And, and, and we also know, so from these past steps we get to know that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, in, in, within Chaitanya Mahaprabhu all the incarnations are there and there's not different, well, he's not different from Lord Nashimadev, Jagannath. But also, uh, what we get to know is that Lord uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not different from Lord Krishna as well. There are many, many pastimes to prove that. And one that comes into the mind as we get ready is that uh, when uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, if you remember, there's a wonderful pastime. He's one of the six uh, famous Goswamis. When he when he was lamenting because he was missing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so much that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had left the world, finished his earthly pastimes, and he's gone back to Goloka Vrindavan. And uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami is originally from South India, Venkata Bhatta's son, and he's lamenting. And then, he, when he was lamenting, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared and he said, you, I want you to go to Gandaki River in Nepal. Then your lamentation will stop. So he goes all the way from Vrindavan to Nepal, Gandaki River in Nepal, and he's trying to take some water in his water pot. Mystically, 12 Shaligram Shilas jump inside this container. Can you imagine? And you're taking water from the surface, from the bottom, 12 Shaligram Shilas jump into this container. So he thought it was a mistake and he Who throw, put them back. Who was taking? Uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Then he went a little bit further away and he took water again. Again, 12 Shaligram Shilas jumped into this. So then he knew there is some esoteric message here. So he brought these 12 Shaligram Shilas and, um, and he was offering wonderful worship to these 12 Shaligram Shilas in uh, present time. It's Radha Raman Mandir, but at that time the temple was not there. So he was offering wonderful worship to these 12 Shaligram Shilas. And then there was a very, very rich person by the name of Seth. He came and he offered so much expensive garments, jewelries, ornaments and he said, please take all these to worship your Lord. And then at that time Gopal Bhatta Goswami felt so bad because he did not have a deity. He was praying to Shaligram Shila, which is not different from Krishna, but he didn't have the deity form for him to use these ornaments and jewels and um, all these uh, you know, garments. So that was on Narshima Chaturdasi, which is going to be, as I mentioned, which is going to take place next month on the Swatina Chitra. Next Swatina Chitra is actually Narshima Chaturdasi. So on that day, uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami prayed to Lord Narshima Dev, My dear Lord, you appeared from a stone, because Narshima Dev appeared from the stone pillar. You appeared from the stone and gave darshan to Prahlad Maharaj and you killed Hiranya Kashipu. So, I would also really be uh, fortunate if you can manifest from these stones, which is Shaligram Shila. And then he went to bed. And the day after Narshima Chaturdasi, only 11 Shaligram Shilas were there, one was missing. But that one became so big as today's Radha Raman Deity. Shishi Radha Raman Ki Jai. So this Radha Raman Deity, for those of you who have been to Brindavan, a uh, few of us are fortunate when we can go a uh, little close uh, as well as you can take wonderful pictures that in that temple there's no restriction in taking any pictures or videos. You can actually see the teeth of Radha Raman. Radha Raman Ji. You can see the teeth. You can see the nail of Radha Raman Ji. And some of the scientists, they wanted to prove that this is actually 
carved or it is done by a man from a so called stone they came and then they verified and then they said this is not this is not this is not man made to prove that this lord manifested and what about lord jagannath and uh, narshimadev it is said to be lord jagannath and lord narshimadev were also not different how do we know that it is said once every 9 years or 12 years when the uh, deities are changed in jagannath puri and uh, it takes two weeks and during the two weeks they chant only one mantra it is said and what is that mantra they chant in jagannath puri when the deities are being changed ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham this is supposed to be a maha mantra for the previous yuga and it is said lord jagannath is from a previous yuga and the previous yuga main deity is lord narshimadev so there is no difference between lord narshimadev and lord jagannath as well so we can all recite uh, this mantra maybe a few times before we get uh, ready for the aarti prabhu can uh, chant loudly and we can all chant with you ram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham three more times ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham ugram veeram mahavishnum jwalantam sarvatomukam narshimmam bishanam patram mrityor mrityam namami aham shri narshimde bhagavan ki jai shri prabhu pad ki jai gaur premanande hari krishna even the narsimha kavacha with normally all the devotees way inside that you can see in a small piece this ugram vira mahavishnu will be there Thank you. 